Hi, welcome back. I've got another video for you where I'm going to take a look at my newest army that I'm working on. And this is the Warriors of Chaos for those who are not familiar with Warhammer Fantasy armies. And it's the next army I've decided to work on because even though I have multiple evil armies ready to go, GW didn't put any of them in the upcoming Ravening Hordes book. So I wanted to work on an evil army that was going to be in the book, seeing as I ordered it. And I want to make sure that it's ready to go at 2,000 points for day one, because I do plan to do some videos early on talking about rules, and I want to make sure I have armies painted for each side that will actually, you know, look good. I don't want to just throw gray models down, and I'm going to focus on units from the two faction books only so that um, it's models that are recognizable in the book, easy to access the rules for anybody who has them or who wants to look them up. Um, I could use my ogres or my skaven or my vampires, and I, I will be using them. I just want to start off with something that's in the book, and even though I disagree with the, you know, legality of the other armies that GW uh, seems to think is important, I'm still going to early on, like I said use this at very minimum as motivation to get these guys done because they're fun. So uh, one thing before I continue any further, I apologize for where I'm filming this. My uh, my normal filming area is kind of messy and I just don't feel like dealing with it right now. So I wanted to get this video done. So I just moved some stuff on my desk uh, where my computer is and I just decided to film here. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the units. I'm going to go through the units first, because for the most part, um, I think that's like, you know, going to be what's most interesting in terms of uh, an army, because these are the troops. And right here, I've got some Warriors of Chaos. These guys are going to get a very um, stereotypical GW paint scheme of black and red and metal colors. Um, I've, I've got some done. I've got a few more I'm going to be able to get done, I think, fairly quickly. And I, I think it looks okay. Again, they're not finished. Um, it's just something I wanted to get started on. I've been picking away at them while I work on other stuff, just to sort of break up the monotony of painting uh, different units. I sometimes get bored going through the same units over and over again and want to just do something different. And uh, yeah, just been picking away at these guys. Back here, I've got some knights. I'm going to run them as chosen knights um, just because of the plate mail, keep them alive for longer. But right now I've got five finished and I've got two more I'm going to be working on because I do need the command and realized after. Apparently when I started building guys, I just didn't build the command for some reason. Um, so these two guys need to get finished. I don't actually need seven. I'm probably just going to run five. But I do need a banner and a musician and uh, that's the probably the next thing I'll finish up just because it's just a couple of dudes. It won't take too long with this uh, same black, gold, red theme I have going on. Thankfully, I do have the Marauders finished um, up until this stage. Again, I'll go back and do more work later. My goal is Null Oil over Contrast Paint uh, with bases done. That's it. I just want to have I just want to have the painting done to tabletop standard. Um, I'll go back and do the rest later, but Marauders, they're just sort of a classic Chaos Army um, unit that I just feel like you don't not run them um, unless you really just want to focus on the most powerful stuff. I think there's something compelling about these guys uh, in terms of the lore and how they look on the board. They're just humans. Yeah, they're super ripped Conan humans, but uh, they're... They're just mortals who live their lives and worship the gods and, you know, go raiding and hope that they get blessed at some point. I just like them. It was a good opportunity to mix up colors and brighten the army up. Um, Chaos can get awfully drab at times. Slanesh and Zinch aren't too bad, but I find that corn, even though red's not a drab color, once there's a lot of it, um, it just becomes overwhelming. Uh, and Nurgle, I mean, Nurgle looks amazing. Nurgle is fun. But, uh, yeah, like, these guys are Nurgle. This is a heavily converted Marauder unit that I need to work on because, I mean, it's it's in bad shape. Um, but, yeah, 
it's just, it's pretty drab, even though, you know, there's a lot of colors going on. That's another unit I have, by the way, is these Marauders. Fast Cav are always useful. I could run these as Nurgle. Uh, depends if I have points available. But it's just something um, that I think uh, is nice to have. My army's very slow. Even the uh, Chaos Knights, you know, they're not for getting around the board. They're for finding a target and just running into it. I do want something that's a little faster. And that's what I chose. I could have gone with um, Warhounds or something, but I don't own any. And I had Marauder Horsemen and... Uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of work already done on them. So I'll just hit these guys with some non oil and fix their bases. And that will be one thing I don't have to worry too much about. So that'll help. I also have a little tiny warrior unit here. Um, if I don't get these guys painted, that's okay. But I figured they won't be too hard to get done. I just wanted to have a little tiny corn unit ready that I could have just to, you know, move around the board. Act as a detachment if that's a thing they can do, I forget. And uh, just in general, it's going to be another small unit that I can use as either distraction, uh, as bait, or just to get into a flank or something, because they're still Chaos Warriors, which are pretty good. Uh, finally, I've got Chosen. It's a mixture of Chaos Warriors with upgrade bits. And uh, these guys here are the old Chosen uh, command unit in front rank. So I just, you know, I put them up front. And these guys here, they're going to get the Nurgle treatment. I'm going to paint them all up. Um, hopefully pretty quickly. I'm having trouble getting this focused. There we go. Um, yeah, I really like Chaos Warriors. Uh, they look cool. They're just... They're such a great kit um, that I don't mind having them mixed in here and just say, oh, they're chosen because they have great weapons. I don't always have to use them as chosen. It's fine if I don't. I just... Uh, yeah, I really, I really like these guys. I think I like them even more than I like the actual Chosen. Uh, the Chosen are cool. And the new Chosen that they've made for Age of Sigmar are basically the same as these. Which, I mean, to me, says a lot about how great they are to begin with. But when you look at the new Chaos Warriors, which are definitely based off of these guys, um, they're just still so amazing. And it's uh, it was tempting just to get a few of those, but I was able to get these guys really cheap, so... That was something uh, that was important as well. Um, technically, it was actually an army I had once owned and sold to somebody. And they sat on it for a while, and I had offered to buy it back. Um, you know, if they weren't going to use it. And I said, obviously, obviously, if you're going to use it, then hold on to it. But if you're not going to and you want your, your money back on that, uh, I'm willing to buy them back. And he thought about it, and eventually I did get them back. And of course, I mean, if he always he's always welcome to play them once they're ready to go. Uh, if he's interested in playing some old world, I just really want to paint these guys up. And uh, next, I've got my characters. So I have three on foot. Uh, this is an eighth edition exalted warrior or exalted champion of chaos or of corn. I mean, um, he looks a lot like the guy that's on the cover art of the eighth edition book. I, I like him. I think he looks good. A little bit more work I need to do on him again. Just all of them have the same problem where I stopped because I need to get other things done. But uh, yeah, he's looking good, I think. And next I have a um, Sorcerer of Zinch Aspiring, I think they're called. Um, I forget the titles for, all the, for them all. The level two Sorcerer. I mean, I guess I could run it as level four. It doesn't really matter. It's a Zinch, Zinch Sorcerer. This model comes from Underworld. Uh, it's her kit. It's like Kavara or something. Um, Kavara's Ravagers or Raiders. I can't remember what it was what it was called, but I bought the box set because it came with um, her, which I just think she's a really cool model. I'm going to use her as a um, a uh, champion of uh, Slanash. I couldn't think of the name of the god for a second. Kind of finished painting her um, face a little bit. She's got a bit of a shadow going on there on uh, her jawline, which is not supposed to be there, but I guess I didn't clear the Nuln oil out as good as I thought. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool model. I really liked uh, the way she looked. I thought it would be a fun champion of Slanesh. And then she her, her team came with this, um, this, this warrior too. So, I mean, 
it, it's another great model. I needed an extra uh, sorcerer for my army, and uh, I like this one. And again, the price the price was right. Uh, the team was, you know, relatively speaking, expensive because it's GW. But for four characters, uh, what I paid was more than reasonable. Like like ten bucks a character is uh, is unheard of for GW when you're talking about plastic. So. I decided to go with that. I have a couple more of them. I think there's actually possibly three more. I forget. Um, there's one of them back here, actually. That's just going to get tossed in here as a filler. Um, but yeah, they're, uh, it's a cool team. It was it was good value, I thought. And finally, I've got this um, Chaos Lord or Chaos Sorcerer Lord, depending on how I run it, on Demonic Steed. This is an old pewter model, so, I mean, it's heavy, but, man, is it cool. Uh, it's missing some parts. Like, there should be some more, I don't know what you want to call them, teeth sticking out of that hammer. Same with these uh, holes here. They should be, There should be some teeth. I'll figure something out. I'm actually thinking, because it's demonic, I might uh, sculpt some, like, tentacles to come out of it. But for now, I mean, it still looks good. I've decided it's uh, sort of a burning branded skinless horse because it's demonic um because mainly it's not really any bigger than regular chaos knight horses um maybe when it came out and the chaos were, were maybe still using the pewter chaos knights this was bigger but it's definitely like the same size as them and it looks like the same as them so i think it was just a here's a big base and a mutated chaos lord and that's your demonic mount. But I have also a juggernaut lord. I just don't feel like uh, painting him up right now. I've already done the foot version of Corn. I just I want to do this guy. This I love this model. It's one of my favorite uh, chaos models. It's very cool. And uh, yeah, so that's the army. Um, there's not much more to really say about it. That's the plan. It's not a huge army, as you can see. It's, it's Warriors of Chaos. If you want a low model count army that you can do pretty cheap, um, Chaos pro probably is the go-to core faction, I would say. Um, it'll depend what happens once the High Elves get re-released or the Wood Elves. Their models are going to be expensive. Same with Dwarves. But as it stands, you can buy all the Chaos stuff you need through Age of Sigmar um right now so i think this is probably for anybody looking to start an evil army um that likes the idea of big hulking warriors this is a good one and there's other things in there too they've got trolls they've got ogres they've got dragons i mean it's it's quite a varied army mine is actually very um plain really by extension or uh, by definition of what chaos could be so uh, that's something to keep in mind too. You can have lots of big monsters and whatnot included chariots. And, uh, yeah, I figured worst case I'll run these guys as allies or I'll ally them with, uh, some Skaven or some ogres or something. Uh, once those PDFs drop, cause I mean, I don't care what the PDFs say or what the books say. Those are going to be allies for these guys. Um, so yeah, anyways, nothing much more to say here. So I'm going to let it go and uh, finish up. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts or comments, put them down below. And everybody have a great weekend.